In this clip I'm going to talk about creating a drawing for Unicenter in LibreCAD. We started by sketching what we wanted, which was an L-shaped room. It's 10 metres wide, 12 metres high, if you like, on the drawing here. And the corner is cut out to give an L-shape. We just did that for reference. Imagine we drawn it on a piece of paper after measuring our room. We open up our LibreCAD program. While that's loading, I'll just talk about the furniture library. We downloaded some furniture files for, that were designed for QCAD and uh, saved them into the file library in LibreCAD so we could import them into our drawing. This is our basic layout, the default one, which is white on a black background, and the origin point is where the red cross is, bottom left of the screen. We're going to go into our the line menu and choose a line with two points. And we're going to put the commands in at the command prompt at the bottom. When we click in the box there, the words change to blue to show it's active. And we're going to start by putting in coordinate 0, 0. The first zero is for the horizontal axis and the other one's for the vertical. And we need to go along from there 10 metres, as on the bottom of our sketch. So we specify the next point. But first of all, we're going to change in drawing preferences the units from millimetres to metres so that it suits our need better. Okay, we're putting in our points 10, 0. We're going along 10 and up 0. And that's put the line in. Now it looks rather small there. So we can go into auto zoom and blow it up a bit so we can see it more clearly. Now we've got to go up. 6 metres and a long 0. So we use the at command. So it's shift and the at symbol at 0, 6. A long 0 up 6. Now we've got to go back so we use the minus or negative. So we'll go at minus 5, 0. Now we've got to go up. So it's at 0, 6. I forgot to put the comma in there, so we'll do that again. And that's our line. Now we've got to go back again, which will be negative to the left. So at minus 5, 0. That puts our next line in. Then we've got the option of putting in the coordinates, or we can just press C. We can enter C in the command box and press Enter, and that will close the box for us. But we'll put it in properly when we get it right. So it's at zero comma minus twelve. That's it, we got it right eventually. Now we can auto zoom that to blow it up to a bigger size if we want to see it more easily, and we can save it. That's our basic L shape. Now if we go into toolbars, we can go into our furniture directory here. And we can click on one of these pictures that's already drawn, one of these drawings that we imported. And we can insert it. And if we click on each of these types in turn, we can put an assortment of them in our drawing. And we can deal with them later. These are simple examples of kinds of layouts that may be used in a restaurant or cafe. So we'll put in all that we've got and we can deal with them as we go along. OK, there's a good variety of them. Now we'll save that as, go onto the desktop for simplicity. I will call it layout when we learn to spell layout. Okay, that's saved. Now we can check some dimensions if we want to. So if we go to dimensions, horizontal, snap, we've got to snap to something. We can go to intersection, snap on those intersections, and it puts a nice big dimension in. Now we altered these. Uh, units we used on this. Now we need to alter the, 
dimensions. So we go to here, drawing preferences, dimensions. It says 2.5 millimeters text type. We'll change it to 0 0.25, and the same for the arrow size. And that looks a bit better. We can delete those if we don't want them. It, this is really just to check that it's drawn it to the right size, the right units. And we can do some more. If we go to dimensions, diameter, diametric. We can click on entity and it shows us the diameter of that round table, which is 0.7. That seems to be correct according to the file name. And the other one here should be 650 millimeters or 65 centimeters or 0.65 of a meter. And we can do the same for the rectangular tables if we want to check those. But at the moment it all seems to be okay. So it's drawn to scale and the scale of the furniture drawings is the same as the scale of the main drawing. So we're all in tune. Now we can modify these things. We can move them, rotate them, mirror them, scale them to make them bigger or smaller. Uh, we can do many things with them and the rule in CAD is never draw the same thing twice. We can change our paper layout if we want to from portrait to landscape or whatever and we can change the grid spacing to place these things very accurately where we want them. That's a matter of practice really and learning how the program works. But we've got our basic drawing. We've just taken a screenshot of it by pressing the print screen key on the keyboard and we've saved it to the desktop as a screenshot. Now we can open it with the GIMP waiting for this to load, a bit slow because we're using the screen recorder which slows things down. We can increase the size by zooming a bit. If we press the right keys with Shift and C we can open our cropping tool. We can do it by clicking but we can just put it on the keyboard and we can cut that out. We can crop that as an image for Unicenter. Now if we look at the ruler, the horizontal ruler at the top of the screen and the vertical ruler on the left, we can see the coordinates. Wherever our mouse cursor is, we can see the coordinates. It's shown at the bottom left of the screen. So down here, when we're moving the cursor about, you can see the numbers changing constantly as it moves. So if we put it where we want it, about the centre of the table, and read those numbers and just make a note of them. We could do it with another screen print if we wanted or write it down on a pad or something. We can save that. We can exit from it because we've got our screenshot that we needed. And we'll just call our floor screenshot for want of a better name at the moment. Open Unicenter. Go into Administration. There's one we did earlier playing around. Go into Maintenance Floors, we can add a floor, call it Screenshot to match our sketch we had just now, click on the correct image there on our desktop, save it, go to Maintenance and then Tables, don't worry about the image that's there already, that's the default one, we're not worried about that. We need to get our positions, our coordinates, so that it will put the table label in the right place on our drawing. And we reckon that the position for table 1 was about 125 across and 83 down. Doing something wrong here, it's not saving it, so we'll have to play around and get this right. Even experts make errors with these things, so we'll get it right eventually. OK, table 1, we'll start again. Put in a name. So we'll add one, we'll add a table. We'll write in table 1. Could call it table A or something else, but table 1's OK. Choose our screenshot drawing. 125 across, 83 down, and save it. 
So I've got two table ones listed there, we don't want both of them. We log out, log in as an employee, it hasn't registered yet, so we'll close Unicenter down, come right out of it, exit, and then we'll restart it, and it should have put it in the database. OK, go to employee. We click on screenshot, there is our floor layout, and it's got the label for table one there. If we click on that, it should take us to the sales screen. And it does, and there's a burger for sale there, so we can carry on from there. OK, I think that's as far as we need to go. Hope that was interesting. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.